Sometimes we have a fraction and we need to multiply it by another fraction. Let's see how this is done. Here's an example. Let's say we're asked to multiply the fraction 4 fifths by the fraction 2 thirds. The first thing we have to do is to check each fraction to see if it's in its lowest terms or not. The 4 and the 5 cannot be divided by the same number other than 1. So the fraction 4 fifths is in its lowest terms. We can see that 2 thirds is also in its lowest terms. If either one or both of the fractions was not in its lowest terms, it would be best to reduce it to its lowest terms before we carry out the multiplication. The next thing we check is whether or not we can do any cancellations in the diagonal numbers. Checking the diagonal numbers, 4 and 3, there is no number other than 1 that will divide into both of these, so we cannot do any cancellations in these. Now we check the other diagonals, 2 and 5, and we see there's nothing we can cancel here either. So we just have the two fractions, 4 fifths times 2 thirds. We make the product of these into a new fraction like this. Now we multiply the two numerators and put this into the numerator of our new fraction. And we multiply the two denominators and put this into the denominator of our new fraction like this. Now we're left with the fraction 4 times 2 over 5 times 3. We make this equal to a new fraction and multiply the numbers. 4 times 2 equals 8, and 5 times 3 equals 15. So the final answer to the question is the fraction 8 over 15, or 8 fifteenths. There is no number other than 1 that will divide into both 8 and 15, so this answer is in its lowest terms. Also, it's a proper fraction, so it doesn't need to be converted to a mixed number. Let's try another example. We're asked to multiply the fractions 9 thirteenths times 7 quarters. First we check and see if each fraction is in its lowest terms. We see that 9 thirteenths is in its lowest terms. And so is 7 quarters. We also check the diagonals and see if we can do any cancelling to simplify them. There is nothing we can cancel between 9 and 4, or between 7 and 13. So we can multiply these two fractions as they are. We'll make this equal to a new fraction, where the numerator is 9 times 7, and the denominator is 13 times 4. 9 times 7 is 63, and 13 times 4 is equal to 52. This is an improper fraction. The numerator is larger than the denominator so it's useful to convert it to a mixed number. 52 divides into 63 one time, and there's a remainder of 63 minus 52, which is equal to 11, and the denominator is 52. So the final answer is the mixed number 1 and 11 50 seconds. Note that the fraction 11 50 seconds is in its lowest terms. There is no number other than 1 that will divide into both 11 and 52. To review, if we need to multiply one fraction by another fraction, like a over b times c over d, we multiply the numbers in the numerators, a and c, and the numbers in the denominators, b and d. To give us the fraction whose numerator is the product of a and c, and whose denominator is the product of b and d. If this is an improper fraction, it is useful to convert it to a mixed number.